everyone, and welcome to Distance Learning at Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So today we are going to learn how to take objects that are circular and create bubbles using different kinds of chalk. Or if you don't have chalk, you can just use crayons or colored pencils. It'll work out the same. Can't wait to see what you make. I'm going to set myself up, and I'll be right back in a second. I step. have a circular top of a candle. I have a roll of tape that has two circles. Okay, I'm gonna start by using my roll, my toilet tissue roll. Mm -hmm. And you can make them a little bit more round as you go. So if you feel like it's not round enough. And notice I'm putting them all over the paper, some off of the page. You can make as many small ones as you want. I'm gonna go with about Maybe seven, so that's five, six, do one here, seven. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna take my roll of tape and I'm gonna make some big ones. They can overlap, they don't have to. I'm gonna make about three of these, some that go up the page. Oop, I did the small one instead. I'm gonna put a small one on the inside here. So you can do both of them at the same time. So see how I'm thinking about where I'm putting them, okay? And I'm gonna do this one now, just one or two, one. Mm, that's a lot of bubbles in one spot. I'm gonna erase that one. So it's okay to make mistakes. I say that all the time. Mm, I'm actually gonna just put one right here. And that's it. Okay, so now I have drawn out all of my bubbles that I'm going to put. Maybe I'll put one more small one here. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my white chalk. So I have here chalk pastels. I'll show you what the name is. They're Praying Gallery Pastello Colored Paper Chalks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pastel or your chalk and you're gonna go around each one of your bubbles. Making sure that you're going slowly and really taking your time. You want them to stay as circular as possible. The line doesn't have to be that thick. I have one there that I'm not going to do. Now, I'm trying not to put my hand, to rest my hand on the paper because these are very finicky. They're very funny. They all move. See how they kind of disappear when I rub? So if you keep your hand down, all of the lines that you work with will disappear. I'm gonna put my, now these are very fragile, so you wanna make sure that you're putting them back into the, um, container pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to actually move them right here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some bright colors. I'm going to take some orange, some pink, and some blue, maybe green. 
Okay, look at those colors together. So nice. I'm gonna put them to the side for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making little sections on each bubble. Some lines can be thicker, some lines can be thinner. And you want them to follow that circular um, shape. Now see, I did that there because this bubble overlaps that other bubble. I'm gonna make this have an orange little spot there. Ooh, that bubble is looking really nice. I'm actually gonna take some yellow and mix it in there with just a little streak. See how I'm overlapping them? But I'm not going too far in. Now what I'm gonna do is smear, smear that bubble just a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with my white and I'm gonna make a highlight. You can use shapes to make your highlights. And I would suggest going on top of those colors that you've used. So that way it makes it look like even the colors are shiny. Wow, look at that bubble. I'm actually gonna make a little shape there with the yellow. So you can make the shapes whatever color you want suggest moving them around. Wow, look at that bubble. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color the rest of these in and speed it up. You can use whatever colors you would like. I would suggest brighter colors rather than darker colors. Um, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so now I have finished coloring my uh, my bubbles and also smearing them, but I'm noticing that they're not as clean as I would like them to be. So if you noticed while I was um, drawing and coloring them in, I was using my eraser to make them just a little bit more clean. So I'm gonna do that now. Now remember, you don't want to swipe it because it will um, it'll smear everything. So I'm gonna go in and making sure to blow away my pencil erasings. And if you can, you can just do a little bit of smearing because sometimes they don't go away. Okay.
Okay, I think that looks pretty beautiful. Um, I'm actually just gonna add a little bit of white right there because it's driving me nuts. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take a find which way I want my paper to sit and I think I kind of like it this way. Um, so I'm gonna make my initials in the corner. H T twenty twenty exclamation point. I hope you had a good time. Don't forget to send me your work at htemple at schools.nyc.gov. I can't wait to see what your bubbles look like. You can do this on paper, on the sidewalk. You can do it on any color paper. It doesn't matter. I just want to see what you've done. Uh, I hope you had a good time.